Okay guys, so next tutorial is gagawa po tayo ng a simple calculator using Visual Basic 6.0. Okay, ito po yung first activity natin sa Visual Basic. Okay, click mo yung Visual Basic. Then click standard.exe and then click open. And make sure po na nakaselect siya sa standard.exe. Then click open. So ito po siya yung ating form. So, what if gusto mong uh, palakihin yung form? So, resize. Resize mo lang siya. Then, first is maglalagay po tayo ng text box. So, dalawang text box ang ating uh, ilagay. So, tanggalin mo muna natin yung text. Okay. So, next is maglagay tayo ng label. Label. Then, label again. So, dito maglagay tayo ng first uh, input, sorry, input, first number. Okay, next is input, second number. Okay. Then, next is yung ating result. Result. Then, text box again. Okay. Then, erase. Okay. Then, next is yung uh, option button. So, maglagay tayo ng apat na option button. Maglagay tayo ng apat na option button. So, ating uh, exchange mo lang yung caption. To... Plus, next is yung ma, uh, minus uh, times tsaka divide. Okay, what if gusto mong palakihin yung caption mo? So, control, then go to font, then 24 or uh, lagay lang natin 18. Okay. Okay, so ito na po 'yon. Okay, what if gusto mong palakihin yung label mo? So, control para makontrol po natin yung tatlong label, then go to font, then the uh, 18. Okay. Drag mo natin siya para makita siya. Okay then. Drag Drag again, then Sorry Okay, ito na po siya Then, click run Okay, ito na po yung simple calculator natin So, ito na po yung simple calculator So, hindi pa po tayo naglagay ng code Okay, what if gusto nating lagyan ng code? Okay, dito tayo sa plus. Then, click mo yung plus. Then, change mo yung name ng option button natin. So, what if option, option plus. Next is option, option minus. Next is option times next is option uh, divide okay next is it change na natin yung name ng ating text box to uh, txt number 1 enter next na naman is txt number 2 Okay, so yan po yung pangalan ng ating text box. So we have txt number 1, txt number 2, and txt result. Okay. Okay, so tapos na po tayong mag-design. So next na nating gagawin is uh, magko-coding na po tayo. So click mo yung uh, plus, 
na option button then double click so ito po sa yung lalagyan ng code so what if lalag uh, lagyan natin ng code so ito na so una muna natin yung result so txt so pangalan ng ating uh, result so, txt result dot text always remember maglagay ka po ng dot text is equal to val so it means value so open parenthesis then text the number one that text then close parenthesis then maglagay po tayo ng operation which is plus next is val again then open and close parenthesis then txt number two dot text and then enter so ito na po yung code Okay, try natin to run. Then, run your program. Then, maglagay po tayo dito ng 1. And then, dito sa ating txt number 2 is maglagay po tayo ng 2. Ah, sorry, 2. Then, press mo yung option button mo na plus. Okay. So, may 3 po na lalabas. Okay, so gumana na po yung ating simple calculator. So, kapag i-press mo yung minus, so, hindi po siya gagana kasi wala po tayong code na inilagay sa minus. Okay? Stop muna natin. Okay? So, explain ko sa inyo kung bakit uh, nag-calculate siya. So, ito yung first is yung result. So, txt result. So, now, ito yung name ng ating result. Okay? Next is yung txt number 1. So, ito yung name ng ating uh, number 1 na text box. Then, ito po yung number 2 na text box. So, if, what if uh, maglagay ka ng value ng txt number 1 na 5. So, and then, sa ating txt number 2 is 5 pa rin. So, it means, uh, ikakalculate po niya yung 5 na value ng txt number 1 at saka yung value ng text number 2 so and i display niya po yung result sa text result mo okay so ganyan po yung nangyari bakit na uh, mag-calculate yung ating program next is copy mo na lang ito para madali tayo control c then go to minus then double click again sa minus so ito na po yung lalagyan ng code sa minus Then, paste mo lang. Then, change mo lang yung operation to minus. Okay, then, run. Then, lagay tayo ng 10 sa first number. Uh, first text box. Second text box naman is 5. Then, press minus. Okay, so, gumana na po siya yung minus. Okay, next na naman is, maglagay na naman tayo ng code sa ating time. So, copy na naman tayo. Then, double click again. Then, control V to paste. So, change the operation to times. Okay, next is yung ating divide. So, double click divide. Then, control V. Then, change the operation to divide. Okay. Then, run again. Okay, what if maglagay tayo sa first natin na text box is 100 and dito is 20. So, what if press natin yung plus? So, ito po siya yung 120 yung result. Next is yung ating minus. So, ito. Nag-change po siya into 80 and then click mo yung times. Then, automatic po siya mag-change ng 2,000. Then, divide. Okay? So, ito na po yung ating simple calculator. So, what if gusto na po nating uh, lagyan ng display yung ating result? So, okay. So, double click mo yung plus na option button. Then, lagyan po natin ng code na txt result that text is equal to Uh, txt number 1 dot text and then lagay tayo ng amper sand then double quotation then plus 
double quotation again then ampersand again then txt number 2 the text ampersand double quotation equals then double quotation then ampersand again then txt result text then enter so what if ating i-run then press run then what if maglagay tayo ng number 10 dito sa first number uh, first text box then sa second text box is 10 again then press plus okay so may display na po siya so i-display po niya yung uh, ini-input mo na data sa fir first text box at sa text second text box so ito po siya yung ating code okay okay next is yung ating minus divided at saka yung time so copy paste mo lang siya double click again then paste then change your operation to minus and next is yung times then change the operation to times next is yung divide change the operation to divide then press start okay ito na tayo so maglagay po tayo ng a number sa first text box sa acting second text box so press plus minus times and divide so okay gumana na po siya so now ito po yung ating uh, simple calculator using visual basic 6.0 so i hope you enjoy my tutorial so don't forget to subscribe my channel which is joma channel that's all thank you